Hey guys, welcome back to Dawn Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we have a brand new benchmark. It's Monarch for the Nintendo Switch. Now, this will be running on the Yuzu emulator today with my Intel Core i7-4790 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. Uh, we're going to test today if Monarch actually can run day one out of the box when it releases. So, basically, I'm running everything on the default settings as I normally do for all of these videos because why not, right? There's not much else that I can change that makes a difference. That's kind of how it is, as you can see. So I just show you those settings. We're going to play full screen here now, and we're going to see how the game performs. Now, the cutscene that just played was fine. The game itself, though, looks fine as well until you turn the camera, and then it tells you no. Then it tells you no. But if you move like this, I mean, sure, we got, we got some good gameplay. I don't have a clue how to play the game, but we got some good gameplay. So apparently by moving, it has a very odd glitch. If you move, if you have the camera this way, it's fine. But if you decide, what a, what a weird, what a weird glitch. Okay, it seems to be, it seems to, it seems to have caught itself though. It seems to have caught itself to a certain extent. It's with the camera movement. The camera seems to be getting caught behind something. Weird, but hey, I can't believe it's not butter. It somewhat runs. Also, am I gonna lose? Holy crap! Why are the first enemies so damn strong? That doesn't even make any sense. The first enemies destroyed me. Oh, was I supposed to lose? Cause that was crazy. I was like, damn, why are the enemies so damn strong? That don't make no sense. This is a pre-rendered cutscene, by the way, if you were wondering. My GPU just dropped to 5%. This is pre-rendered, as pre-rendered can be. But at least those run fine. Which normally they do. We're gonna skip this because it's a pre render, like I said, it's not really affecting anything. But the game seems to be running, you know, somewhat decent. We're gonna hope by the time it comes up to the actual game that it's patched and we can actually run it naturally. Once you play these types of games, you play them all. It's a kind of a Persona clone, but you know how it is. Not judging. It probably will be a cool game. Also like the Caligula effect, which I also tested, which didn't have this glitch. This does. <laughs> We're gonna skip all these uh, pre-rendered cutscenes and just move through the cinematics real quick. My gosh, here's another one. Another one. They got them all. I don't know what happened, and I don't really care because it's all in Japanese. <laughs> and I don't speak Japanese. I understand now loading though, that's cool. That's cool, I'm cool, I'm hip. Okay, we're back into gameplay. So the cutscenes run fine, but it's, it's the angle of the cat. Wait a minute, is this supposed to be happening or this is a glitch too? It's so bad I can't tell if it's a glitch or it's supposed to be happening. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a glitch though. I'm definitely saying it's a glitch. My name is SpongeBob. You know, the classic. It's running though. I mean, it's amazing that games like this that just released can run. Still waiting for Lost in Random, but you know. I'll wait. I'll wait. But for it's 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 shocking to see some of these games no coming on are and are able to run. I should have probably put 16, but you know who cares. <laughs> Definitely some graphical issues in the game, but it runs. I can't believe it's not butter. It's not very demanding either at 30 FPS. I don't know what you're saying, but can we get on with it? Can I free run and see that graphical glitch again? Why did? I don't know what I'm answering. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm doing. But what I like about it is it's staying at a rock solid 30 FPS. So this is very playable. This might even be playable on low end hardware. Holy crap! I was oh was I doing stats? Oh, oh I was like Persona with the stats. Oops. <laughs> it won't matter after this video. That's the last time I'll touch this until the game releases. I guess. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed these types of videos. I haven't done emulation in a while, that's why I decided to go back to it. Don't forget to smash that like button, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and stick around for more epic content. You can always leave a comment down below if you'd like to see me benchmark. I do everything on emulation, RPCS3, Yuzu, and Xenia, as well as I play low-end games on my system and test the RX 570. Normally, I only test this with games that just came out, though, but you'd get the point. I'm trying to do a potato PC run afterwards, which probably will take me a year because it's so slow, but hey, here we're in game again, and oh my gosh. Alright, so the game's on, so it has this graphical issue wherever you turn, it's a nightmare. 
but with, with this angle, you're fine. It's just crazy, but that's one weird graphic glitch. I've never seen that glitch before, but you know, I can live with that. I can live with such a glitch. Because otherwise the game runs fine. That is going to be interesting to see if that comes. That's still like this on launch day. But anyway, I'm just going to keep quiet now because I've basically talked for five minutes through the video. I'll just show you a little bit more of gameplay and then I'll end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Also, not very hard on the RAM uses. I appreciate that. Only four eggs of RAM. I appreciate that. ここは渡り廊下。ねえ。何言って。君。え。ジブ。ジオちゃんの名前。Oh my gosh, so it wasn't a glitch. This is actually what it does. I don't even know. Is this a glitch or not? I can't even tell. It did it again though. And now it's fine. Dude, that was in game. That's how the game plays. Has to be. I don't care at this point to be honest. Thank you. 